I, I've been inspired by Benjamin Franklin, really, because he, he was a polymath. He was interested in lots of different areas. The thing inspired, that inspired me as a child was the whole flying a kite in a lightning storm or in a thunderstorm. And that, that, that's a very visual thing. I, I really can relate to that. OK, so, so Franklin uh, devised an experiment to prove that uh, lightning was electricity. Now, previously, people had, had basically used a very long iron rod and poked that up into a, a, a cloud, which was not so effective. So, so he, used a, he thought, well, well, let's use a big kite and uh, basically sent a, a kite up into a, a cloud that looked like it might have lightning in it and then proved that sparks were coming off of that and that that was electricity. Well, I, th I think there's a, an element of risk and I think sometimes science um, can be, have elements of risk to it. Taking something new and taking it to the scientific community can be daunting at times. Well, he, he invented a number of things. He, he looked into the cooling of substances by, by, by evaporation. He looked into um, ocean currents, why, why certain uh, ships were taking longer to get from England to the US um, rather than from the US to England and found that they were, they were going against the current in, in some respects. He, he invented a musical instrument called the glass harmonica, not the harmonica, but harmonica as it was called. Yes, uh, he invented bifocals as well. Uh, they, invent, they were invented by Franklin. He was a polymath which meant that he, he was um, gifted in many different subject areas. He could work in physics, he could work in medicine, he could work in social sciences. Sometimes universities can get into a, a silo mentality to some extent where chemistry is chemistry, mathematics is mathematics. I think we, since the post-genomic era though, now people are starting to look across disciplines to solve problems. So for example, looking at computing technologies to look for, for genes associated with, with particular biological or physiological states. Yeah, so he was one of the, considered one of the founding fathers of America and involved in the Declaration of Independence or signing of the Declaration of Independence. Okay, so my, my work is very much across disciplines and, and I think, or I, I like to feel, I'm using logic to solve medical problems by the work I do. I'm involved in using computer programs or algorithms to identify genes associated with disease. That might be identified genes associated with cancer or identified genes associated with cancers that will respond to therapy. So in the case of Franklin, uh, he, he used his logic, his knowledge of, of, of systems to try and solve problems, to create inventions and bring those to the benefit of, of, of humankind. I see inspiration there because I, I want to use what I've learned and the, the, the logic I have to try and solve problems for humankind as well.